we're taking space by storm. Today we're talking about the SpaceX CRS-25 Cargo Dragon resupply mission to the ISS. Yesterday, July 15th, 2022, SpaceX, using their Workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, launched a Cargo Dragon into orbit, destined for the International Space Station. At 8.44 p.m. Eastern Time, the Falcon 9 lift off from the pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex. Its nine powerful Merlin 1D engines carried the rocket skyward, carrying NASA's 25th Commercial Resupply Service mission with it. The just-after-sunset launch from the Florida coast provided for a spectacular display in the darkening sky. The rocket, once above the curve of the Earth, became lit by the setting sun, illuminating its plume as it headed to orbit. Stage separation occurred on time, and the first stage booster began its return to SpaceX's autonomous drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, where it landed safely, becoming the 130th booster to successfully return from orbit. Again illuminated by the setting sun, booster B1067.5 can be seen amidst puffs of cold nitrogen gas as it steers itself back through the atmosphere. B1067.5 completed its fifth trip to orbit, having previously been used for the CRS-22 mission, Turksat 5B mission, and both the Crew-3 and Crew-4 missions. This CRS-25 resupply mission, also known as SPX-25, was contracted by NASA as part of the CRS Phase II contract award in 2016. The Cargo Dragon brought about 5,800 pounds of cargo into orbit to deliver to the ISS. On the astronaut side of things, the supplies included equipment and hardware, clothes and food, including fresh fruits and vegetables, along with cheeses and dry sausages. Cargo Dragon also carried the NASA Alana 45 mission to orbit as an auxiliary payload. Alana 45 consists of five CubeSats, designed by university students, allowing them to access to real space missions and giving them the opportunity to get involved from satellite design, building, assembling, along with launch and operation. Cargo Dragon is also bringing a number of new science experiments and technology to the station, including studies in gene expression, material science, microgravity in the human brain, muscle wasting, immune studies, research into foams and emulsions, biopolymer research, and an Earth Service mineral dust investigation instrument to be mounted on the outside of the station, just to name a few. CRS-25 had originally been scheduled to fly to the ISS on June 10th. However, an elevated reading of the Cargo Dragon's Draco thruster propellant hydrazine caused SpaceX and NASA to postpone the mission. SpaceX was able to narrow down the source of the leak to being an issue with a single Draco thruster valve inlet point. SpaceX was able to repair the leak, allowing the mission to fly yesterday. Crew Dragon is scheduled to dock with the Harmony module on the ISS on July 16th at 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time. There it will spend about one month before returning to Earth to splash down off the coast of Florida. SpaceX still remains the only current provider with the capability to return science samples, experiments, materials, and equipment safely back to the Earth's surface. However, with the recent mostly successful Boeing Starliner second orbital flight test, they too should be soon able to carry materials back from the ISS. This mission marks the 30th launch for SpaceX in 2022 and their 164 Falcon 9 launch overall. This also brings the total to 33 visits of a Dragon capsule, counting both crew and cargo, to the ISS. Congratulations SpaceX and NASA to a great launch, and we look forward to Cargo Dragon's return. That's all for this video, friends. See you next time, and remember, take space by storm.